In this video, I'm going to show you how to open Microsoft Office documents such as Word, PowerPoint, and Excel without a Microsoft Office subscription on your Raspberry Pi. I'm going to show you how to install something free called LibreOffice on your Raspberry Pi so that you can open and save Microsoft Office documents. For this video, you'll need your Raspberry Pi. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 5, but you could use a Raspberry Pi 4. You'll need an internet connection. You'll need the peripherals that go with your Raspberry Pi if you are using a monitor, a mouse, and a keyboard. Now let's get started. Start with a fresh install of the Raspberry Pi operating system. And I do have another video if you need help getting to this point. This is just getting started with your Raspberry Pi. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by opening up my internet browser. To start off this exercise, I'm going to download a few sample files. You can use your files, but I've put out a few sample files in my GitHub repository here, github.com slash Caroline Dunn slash MLB dash AI dash exercise. I'm actually going to use this tutorial as a prerequisite for the next video that I'm going to launch here. Just to show you how this works, I have a few sample files here. So this is a PowerPoint presentation and I'm going to hit download. Then I'm going to go to a document, a Word doc that I've created. It's a sample document. You're welcome to download it. I'm going to download that document. There it is. So I've got my PowerPoint I've downloaded, a Word doc that I've downloaded. So let's now download an Excel file. And now I've downloaded an Excel file. So let's go take a look at these documents in Downloads. And if you try to open any of them by double clicking, nothing really happens. There's this X archiver that kind of opens up. If you try to right click, you can open with the archiver, which you can't see anything, or you can hit open with, and then there's really not much for it to open with. If you try to do office, yeah, nothing happens. So this is the Word document, You're kind of in that same position where you can't really open these documents and see what's inside. In order to fix that, we're going to install something called LibreOffice. So I'm going to open up my terminal command. There are actually two different ways to do this. The more common way is to use your terminal commands. So I'm going to start with a sudo apt update. So you want to get your Raspberry Pi to the latest version. And then the most common way to install LibreOffice is sudo apt install LibreOffice Y. I will put this command line in the description field. So that way you can just copy and paste it. And then the dash Y is actually optional because if you start going through this process, it will ask you yes or no. Do I want to, do you really want to install LibreOffice? And then you'll go through that. But before I hit enter on this, I'll show you the other way that you could have gone through this. Hit your Raspberry menu button, go down to preferences, and then click on recommended software. And when you go into recommended software, there's something called Office over here. This is the LibreOffice. Click the check mark and then hit apply. And that's the alternate way of installing LibreOffice. I'm going to close this out because we're going to do it the regular way, which is the command terminal way. sudo apt install LibreOffice space dash y, hit enter, and uh, you will be on your way. Now just a note, uh, for me it took about 25 minutes to go through this process really depends on your internet speed and which Raspberry Pi you're using as well. There are a lot of factors that could determine how long it takes for you to actually install LibreOffice. So I'm going to pause the video here and then I'll come back when it's done. We have completed our install of LibreOffice. I'm going to close up my terminal and now let's go back to downloads and those files that we were not able to open previously. Now I'm just going to double click. Let's see what happens. And look at that, LibreOffice is magically opening up. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to close this. And this is a sort of a PowerPoint. And now you can make changes. And if you're wondering about the sample file I have here, this was actually created by Copilot. I just said, hey, give me a presentation about stolen bases. And uh, yeah, it made this whole thing for me. So uh, anyway, yeah, you can make changes and then you can run an animation and you can even save this. So the only caveat about saving this is when you hit save, it's not the latest version of PowerPoint. So you'd have to save it in a previous version of PowerPoint if you want to do PowerPoint files here. And the same thing can be said about these Word documents. If I right click, I hit open, it's going to open that or you can open it with LibreOffice Writer. But either way, it's going to use LibreOffice and uh, check this out. 
sample document created by Copilot. Same thing kind of applies here. If you make any changes and you save it, it does save it to an older version of Microsoft Word. But once again, you don't need to have a Microsoft license in order to do this. And uh, for my future tutorial that I'm going to publish on this channel next, we are going to open a CSV file or a Excel file. Either can be opened by LibreOffice. If you have a LibreOffice here, you can hit this uh, arrow key next to the save key and you can do a save as, and you can save it as an older version of Excel, or you can save it as a CSV file. And I'm gonna hit save and now I have a CSV file that I can work with, use CSV format. We'll use this in a future video about analytics, data analytics with AI. And that was installing LibreOffice so that you can open Microsoft Office documents, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, on your Raspberry Pi without having to buy a subscription. Now this is part of a larger series. This will be the prerequisite video for the next two videos that I launch where we're gonna do some data analysis for MLB baseball with some AI tools. The first video is going to be ChatGPT versus perplexity. We're gonna look at stolen bases. And then the next video after that will be strikeouts by pitcher. And then we'll do some data analysis using Claude versus Gemini. Please stay tuned, please subscribe and hit that bell notifications. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye now.